Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with a notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be doing a blind head-to-head -head challenge between the Wild Turkey Rare Breed and the Old Ezra 7-Year Barrel Strength. $40 MSRPs on these whiskeys, both of them coming in at barrel strength. This ought to be a great challenge. Before I get into this blind, I'm going to tell you a little bit about each whiskey. First up, the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Wild Turkey Rare Breed is distilled by Wild Turkey. It has a mash bill of 75% corn, 13% rye, and 12% malted barley. This is a non-age stated whiskey, but it's thought to be a blend of 6, 8, and 12 year old whiskeys. It has an ABV of 56.4%, 116.8 proof, with an MSRP of around $40. Next up, the Old Ezra 7 Year Barrel Strength. Old Ezra 7 Year Barrel Strength Bourbon is a Luxco product, most likely sourced from Heaven Hill with an undisclosed mash bill. It's a 7 year age statement, it is an ABV of 58.5%, 117 proof, with an MSRP of around $40. As you just heard, both of these whiskeys are very, very similar in a lot of ways. This is more than likely a Heaven Hill product. This is Wild Turkey, of course. Proofing, very, very close, 116.8, 117. This is non-till filtered and has a seven year age statement. This is a blend of six, eight, and 12 year whiskeys. How I'm gonna do this blind, both these Glencairns do say Stitzel Weller on them. This one's marked B on the bottom for bird for wild turkey and this one's marked a go ahead and get some whiskey in the glasses a little bit in this one a bit of old ezra in this glass here so they're pretty close a little more than that just to be fair all right all right now we're going to switch these around a little bit this is the way we're going to do this from from here on out i'm going to call this glass one and this glass two that way you guys can keep up with what's going on while I'm saying glass one and two. We're gonna start out on the nose with glass one. And as you can see real, real quickly, they are definitely very, very similar in color. Very similar in color. This one here does seem a little more viscous. It is clinging to the glass fairly well. All right, start off in glass one. Getting cinnamon. A little bit like a like an allspice and vanilla caramel and maybe a little bit of a cherry also on the nose swish it around the glass let it clean the glass a little bit so we can get a little bit better nosing on the whiskey a little bit of oak also i'm definitely getting a nice oak note on this one maybe even a little bit of a Barrel char. Definitely oak, vanilla, caramel, maybe a little bit of a cherry, hint of cherry in there. Some allspice. And like a little bit of a little bit of like a, a nutmeg note also. And also on this one, now that I'm going back to it, keep going back to it. I'm getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a nuttiness, a little bit of a nuttiness characteristic on the nose of this one right here. Mostly on the nose of this one, it's vanilla caramel. There is a little bit of a nuttiness aspect to it. Some allspice and a nice oak note. Let's go into glass number two. Check out the nose. This one's definitely got a more vibrant nose a little bit of a floral aspect to it vanilla caramel nutmeg 
there is some more of a rye spice to this one. Definitely get some more spiciness, some pepper. A little bit of an oak note, but not much. I'd say there's more of an oak note on the first one. And I'm getting some dark fruits on this also. A nice, a really, really, really nice cherry note on this one. This one, definitely a more vibrant nose. It does have a little bit of a floral aspect, which this one did not. But this one's nose definitely seems a little more rich and dense. There, the oak note was more prevalent on this one. There is a nice oak note on glass too. But it's definitely a nice dark cherry note. Some rye spice, some baking spice, brown sugar, and some caramel vanilla. But definitely a more vibrant nose on the second one. I'm gonna go back real quick to the first and see if the nose has changed up any at all. It means it's set in the glass a little bit longer. Yeah, definitely a nutty characteristic to this one. The nuttiness is definitely coming through on this one. I'm gonna go ahead and guess I probably shouldn't do this. Just by the nose, I would definitely say this glass here is probably the old Ezra. Probably shouldn't have done that, but it's definitely got a nutty characteristic to it. Some caramel vanilla, a nice oak note. A little bit of like nutmeg and clove. Not much of a rye spice on this one, mainly a nuttiness, caramel, vanilla, a hint of cherry and a nice, nice oak note. Now that it's opened up just a tad in the glass. Definitely on the first one, once again, a nice nutty characteristic, a nice oak note, some caramel, vanilla, maybe a hint of cherry and a little bit of like a, a clove in baking spice or all spice note on the nose of this one. Nice nose, nice nose. Let's go back to go back to number two. Definitely um, a more vibrant nose on glass number two. Definitely getting some some baking spices, a little bit of brown sugar also now on the nose. A nice cherry note. I mean, a little bit of oak, caramel, baking spice. Some allspice and clove is really coming through on the nose on this one now. Not much of an oak note. There's a little bit of one, but there's definitely, compared to this one, this one definitely has a much more dense oak note. But overall, this nose here is more bright, vibrant, floral. and more spicy. The rye spice is definitely coming through. Baking spice, brown sugar, honey. Nice nose. If I'd have to go to the nose, I would say it's pretty close. They're both nice nose. This is a little more vibrant and probably a little more down my alley of what I prefer. It seems to be more vibrant and rich and a little more dense on the nose as far as the nosing goes versus glass one. Let's get into what's important, the taste, guys. It's glass one. Cheers. First sip, very nice vanilla caramel. A little bit of spiciness, like a pepper. Maybe on the front of the palate, I caught a little bit of nuttiness, but not as much as I did on the nose, which is kind of making me wonder now. But definitely a nice mouthfeel on the first on the first sip. It's, it's drying out a little bit, but definitely a nice sip. We'll definitely go back to this one. Take a little bit of a drink of water before we go to this one. Let's take a sip of a glass number two. 
Cheers, guys. Yeah, this one here is a much more rich and dense whiskey. Mouthfeel, it's much more oily, very viscous. As you can see in the glass, the legs on it is just clean and it's kind of just fell off on glass number one. Not much viscosity going on there. This is a very oily, rich whiskey. Got caramel, vanilla, got some baking spices and brown sugar. A little bit of clove and I would say the finish on this one on glass number two is definitely a lot it's it's, it's a lot longer than this one I'd say this has a long finish on it I, I'm leaning towards favoring towards this one right now but we'll take another sip of water and go back and get another sip of this one or glass one Go back in for another sip in glass one. Cheers, guys. All right, now that my palate's become a little more acclimated to whiskey in general, the nuttiness characteristic is definitely coming through on this one right here. Allspice, clove, a little bit of cherry, caramel vanilla, and a nice, a nice oak note on the finish. I would say the finish on this one is middle of the row compared to this one. The finish did seem like it lingered and went on a little bit more. This one does have glass one, does have a nice, a more nice oak note on the finish versus glass two. But once again, on this one, I got caramel vanilla a little cherry and like a clove like a, like a clove or allspice note on this one right here nice sip both of them are great pours to say the least i'm going for another sip of glass too all right here we go guys cheers Very nice. Front of the palate, a little caramel vanilla. Brown sugar picking up a little bit. Mid palate, back of the palate is spice, clove, baking spices, a little pepper. And there's some honey in this one also. And the finish is still going. Caramel vanilla, rich caramel vanilla lingering in the finish with a more subtle oak note compared to this one. Definitely more subtle. There's a little oak note on the finish, but very nice, very nice number two is. I like number two a lot. I'm gonna, I, I, I don't, I've already said what I think this one is, but you never know in a blind. It's so deceiving. I'm gonna do one more sip of each, and then we'll do the reveal. All right, cheers guys. Yeah, it's got a nuttiness to it. Definitely on the front of the palate, caramel vanilla, a nuttiness characteristic popping up. Mid palate, a nice cherry note is definitely mid palate. Finish is oak and vanilla. Oak and vanilla now. And the finish is still middle of the row. This one has a little bit longer finish, kind of hangs around a little bit longer. I think this one seems a little more dense and rich to me. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm definitely leaning towards glass number two right now. I really like it. Both great pours, without a doubt. Going for one more sip of glass number two. Cheers. Very nice. Front of the palate. Caramel, vanilla, kind of rich, 
very it's very much so richer than glass number one rich caramel vanilla mid palate a little clove and brown sugar and some honey it's a little more complex there's a little bit more a little bit more going on brown sugar caramel honey mid palate and it's kind of finish it off in this vanilla caramel peppery clove note with a little bit of oak and the finish is still going it has a nice long finish i definitely prefer glass number two all right guys we're gonna do the reveal i'm gonna give you a guess could totally blow it right here but i'm gonna guess that this here is the old ezra barrel strength and that this here is the wild turkey rare breed all right we're going to do the reveal this one here is yes it's it's number a I'm, hold on let me drink this so you guys can see that is number a right there this is the old ezra definitely the old ezra is a good pour good pour of whiskey i have heard from some of my friends that they are inconsistent in their batches or their bottlings uh, and I could I can see that a little bit myself but definitely a good solid pour for the 35 to 45 dollar price range the MSRP on this is around 40 dollars without a doubt an outstanding pour for the 40 dollar price range this right here the winner is the wild turkey rare breed I think this one not only just because it was more rich and dense I think it unfolded in the palette and, and, and so much better than this one. The way it unfolded, it kind of told a story a little bit. The, and the way it, it kind of held together was so much better than this one. It was more rich and dense, and it was a little more complex and definitely had a longer finish. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this blind head-to-head. -head. If you guys want me to do more of these, just leave it down in the comments below. This is going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.